Hello everyone, this is Saurav and welcome to Orissa Post Live and these are today's top headlines. BJD Supremo and Odisha Chief Minister Navin Patnaik began campaigning Wednesday for the upcoming Lok Sabha and Assembly elections in the state from Hinjli in Ganjam district. Patnaik criticized the opposition parties for opposing developmental work in the state. Development is our identity, however it is sad to see that opposition parties are politicizing all development activities, Patnaik told the gathering. The Odisha Joint Entrance Examinations for 2024 will be held from May 6 to May 10. All the examinations will be conducted during 6th May to 10th May 2024 through computer-based tests, said an official notification issued Wednesday. It added that candidates can download their admit cards April 27 onwards. The regional office of the IMD in Bhubaneswar said Wednesday that there won't be any immediate relief from the ongoing heatwave in Odisha. It said that the heat wave is expected to continue till April 28. Odisha capital Bhubaneswar once more emerged as one of the hottest cities in the state with the mercury soaring to 43.2 degrees Celsius. Valuable documents were gutted when a major fire broke out at the excise office located near Kiriburu Chok under Barbil police limits in Keunjhat district in the wee hours of Wednesday. After more than four hours, firefighters were able to bring the blaze under control. The extent of damage will only be known after a proper investigation takes place, said an excise official. Malkangri District Police seized Rs 30 lakh in cash Tuesday night from a car which was entering Odisha from Chhattisgarh. Police found the cash in the vehicle during a routine check on vehicles plying on the Malkangri Sukma Road, officials informed. A youth identified as Sada Swai set a beetle shop on fire at Mahula Market under Chandaka Police limits late Tuesday night after the shopkeeper asked him to clear Rs 125 debt. The youth was later caught by locals and handed over to police. A Supreme Court bench of Justice Sanjeev Khanna and Justice Dipankar Datta said Wednesday that it is not the controlling authority for elections and cannot dictate the functioning of Election Commission of India which is a constitutional body authority. The remarks came during the hearing on petitions seeking thorough cross-verification of votes cast on electronic voting machines with paper slips generated through the VVPAT system. However, the court has reserved judgment on the matter for now after hearing replies from an ECI official on the queries. Amid mounting opposition pressure, sources said Wednesday that the Election Commission is examining complaints against a speech made by Prime Minister Narendra Modi in Rajasthan in which he suggested that if the Congress came to power, it would redistribute the wealth of people to Muslims. The Congress and the CPIM had separately urged the poll panel to scrutinize Modi's speech Sunday. Delhi Cabinet Minister Saurabh Bharadwaj informed Wednesday that he had a 30-minute long meeting with Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal in Tihar prison. He added that Kejriwal has asked people not to worry about him as he is strong and fine. Congress leader Rahul Gandhi denied Wednesday of making any statement over wealth survey and added that he had never spoken about redistribution of wealth. All I said was let's find out how much injustice has been done, Rahul said at a party event in New Delhi. He blamed Prime Minister Narendra Modi for blowing the comment out of proportion. The West Bengal government moved Wednesday the Supreme Court against the Calcutta High Court order invalidating the appointment of 25,753 teachers and non-teaching staff made by the state's school service commission in state-run and state-aided schools. The state government in its appeal filed before the top court said the High Court cancelled the appointments arbitrarily. The government will continue to auction telecom spectrum and the administrative allocation route will be used sparingly, only in those cases where it is technically not feasible to do so or for areas that are strategic in nature, sources said Wednesday in New Delhi. The Defence Research and Development Organization has successfully developed the lightest bulletproof jacket in the country for protection against the highest threat level, the Defence Ministry said in a statement in New Delhi. The jacket is based on a new design approach where novel material along with new processes has been used, it added. That's all for today's top headlines. Stay tuned to Orissa Post Live.